All right, you said I should be recording right away, so I you're am recording. Rec- I am recording Good. now, right away. Good, because we we always have gold right when we log on to Zoom. So great, great. Let's I hear some of that I gold. Do. Let's hear it. Let's okay. hear it. Okay. Uh, I just solved the New York Times spelling bee for the day. Oh my gosh! Hey everybody, welcome to Two Guys lettuce. talking about lettuce. My name is Greg I'm Benson. My name is Lettuce. Greg I'm Benson. Wait a minute. What, wait, what song was that? I recognize that song. What song lettuce. is that? Uh, I have no idea. Lettuce. Yeah, but, that, uh, but no, is, that's that's actually a song now. Lettuce. All right, everybody, please it's, leave yeah. a comment. Uh, please leave yeah. a comment. Just write it down on a pad of paper uh, yeah. about what song you think that is, and then mail that mail that comment to the White House to let the president know what your guess is. And and maybe one of these days we'll meet him. We'll find out what your guesses are, and uh, mm-hmm. and and maybe we'll get the, the answer to that riddle. Uh, yeah, uh, Greg. Yeah, because I told you to start recording right away. It was the lamest beginning of a conversation we ever had. Really, I thought it was. I thought it was gold. Like you said, it was going to yeah. be golden. I thought. It, I mean, we've gone now for a minute and fifteen seconds, and yeah. I think. I think at least a minute and fourteen seconds. Of that is fantastic. Yeah, maybe the maybe, first maybe second was. was a little rough. Yeah, yeah. We'll edit that out. What? We'll yeah. So no one will know. <laughs> okay. Um, how have you been? How you doing, big? I'm, Big guy. Oh my gosh! I thought you were gonna call uh, call me a, a big palooka or your a, a big lug or something. Oh, um, would you rather be a lug or a palooka? I'd r- I'd rather be a palooka. I think. What's a palooka? I don't know, but I I am one. Are I'm you? A, I'm a big palooka. Um, I've been uh, well. I I feel like I haven't seen you in two weeks. Uh, because that's exactly how long it's been. Has it been exactly two weeks? Well, I don't know if it's been two weeks exactly, but it's been. Uh, uh, close. It's yeah. Close. No, normally right. we're on top of the podcast recording folks, but we've had a very busy past week or two. You've been doing some traveling. You've got more traveling coming up next week. So we had to fit one in. We've never recorded on a weekend before. This and you've, is, you've had some plumbing to do. And I did. Uh, had some, yes. I had some, pl- I had a plumber out here. Here's the deal. When yeah. things go wrong in the house, I don't know if you like to fix your own stuff, but I like to, because it makes me feel a sense of, a sense of accomplishment. I am frustrated I, while I do it. I don't care. I do not fix my own. China oh. likes to fix our stuff. Well, I don't. Isn't, I isn't would. That, isn't that nice? You got you got yourself a lady yeah. a lady friend. Is that what you call a lady friend who fixes uh, your wife things or or China? Call okay. her China. All right, actually. you know, lady friend uh, works out. Whichever, or, whatever works for okay. you. Sure, yeah. sure. All right, so, call her name, so she. China. Yeah. Hey, listen. When you guys next time yeah. you guys come and visit, she should restring the blinds in our bedroom. They need to be restrung. That's a, okay. that's, that's a job I always put off because it ends up taking like two hours and I just like, oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, so, so that sounds like a terrible job that you're pawning off on my wife. That's right, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I didn't uh, say that correctly. On, on, on your what? My wife. No, come on. My wife. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's, that's better. Uh, incidentally, Palooka <laughs> yeah. is uh, Carolina Palooka, MD, PhD. Yeah. She's a, that's correct. Uh, a doctor. Yes. yes, Carolina Palooka. That's why I want you to call me your big Palooka because I'm your I am your Carolina yeah. doctor, as they say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, should I be recording this? It might it might be pronounced Palooka, and yes, you should be recording. This. All right, I'm going to start recording pretty soon. Okay, in the, great. In the next thirty to forty minutes, I'm going to push the record button. I'm excited about okay. this. See, that's why when I when I talk to you, I always have to be on. I always have to feel like I'm performing because I don't know when I will be. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess that's it's a lot truth. of pressure talking to you, Greg. Oh my god! I know. Oh, yeah. I know. It's so tough. I know. It's so much yeah, pressure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe don't make it so much so filled with pressure all the time. Greg. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you know, Billy Joel had that song "Pressure." Neil Young had a song called "Pressure." They're both good songs. There's "Under Pressure" as well. "Under Pressure" uh, is a great song. Yeah. That's David Bowie yeah. and Queen together. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Who, th- who thought David Bowie and Queen would get together and do a song? How come they? How come? How I come th- they I haven't done it? Seems... How come they haven't done a new song recently? Why haven't Freddie and and David worked yeah. together again yeah. recently? Well, okay. First of all, it yeah. seems very likely that David Bowie and Queen would do a song together. They seem like a match made in heaven. That seems okay, like, yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, but we'll, both, we'll, we'll never know. That. We'll, we'll never know. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, they did. They did a song together. You just said they did. They did? Uh, what song is that? Yeah, yeah. Under Pressure. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, I yeah. I remember us having a conversation about it. It feels like it was just yesterday. Yeah, yeah it was It was literally less than a minute ago. Okay. Uh, right, sure. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, and 
they can't do it now because uh-huh. Freddie Mercury is dead. Okay, this all I'm hearing is excuses. <laughs> like legitimate, legitimate <laughs> excuses. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm hearing. Yeah. I just, I just hear excuses. Yes, and, and you I, are and, hearing excuses. And They're I legitimate. Wish, yeah. I wish that they would stop being so lazy, and they would, and they would start recording. Look, so just because Freddie so do you Mercury, think is, the dead are lazy. Do you think the dead are lazy? I mean, honestly, a little bit. They just lay around and stuff. If you yeah. if if Freddie Mercury is too lazy to to do a new song with David Bowie, then why doesn't David Bowie just do a new song on his own? You know, I mean, well, he fa- has he he has yeah, he's done lots of songs since that song, yeah, lots. Oh my God, you don't even know that David Bowie is dead, do you? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. He is dead. I yeah, forgot. you he did you, didn't, you, you but he but he also you, did a lot of songs. Since. You didn't <laughs> even remember that David Bowie was dead. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he did die. Uh, you, know, you know, John yeah. Lennon died too. That was years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. John Lennon died. Natural oh. causes. Horrible. Oh my God! David Horrible. Bowie died seven years ago. <clears throat> wow! Isn't that weird? It seems like such a yeah. recent thing. Yeah. Wow. That's why I D- forgot because it's se- the, the old seven year forgetties they call them. D- yeah, the seven year yeah. forgetties. David Bowie yeah. uh, is one of those artists who I like very much, but I rarely yeah. feel like listening to. Just kind of like Tom Waits. Like I like his music very yeah. much, but I'm rarely in the mood to listen to it. Yeah. I kind of feel the same. Well, so, uh, there's some songs I feel like I could listen to anytime. Like the uh uh I don't remember. Oh my god. You know What's one? your you favorite know David one? Bowie album? Uh, I don't remember. Oh my God. Space Oddity is the song I feel like I could. You like that a, song? Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway, in, in case anybody, Life, on, ca- Mars. Life ca- on Mars, that's a good, a good one. one. In case, in case yeah. anyone's listening and they're like, "What David Bowie album does Greg want me to listen to?" I'm going to tell you that my favorite is Hunky Dory, back from the okay. golden seventies. Listen yeah. to Hunky Dory. That's a great album. Um, yeah. How about you know how about why Queen? I, what's your I favorite? Thought, what's your favorite you know Queen thought, album? You know, I thought huh. David Bowie was still alive. I why? think it's because I occasionally come across YouTube videos of him from like, you know, the 2000s. And yeah. I, and I and I just forget. I forgot. It just he still feels like he's with me. You know? I know. I know. Now I'm well, sad, Greg. Also, also now I'm reminded. Yeah. I know. And I don't mean to make you sad. I saw a David Bowie yeah. video that confused me recently. It was a brand new video. And he says, hi, uh, this is David Bowie. I died seven years ago, but I still oh, yeah. like to eat. Crusty Flakes, David Bowie's Crusty Flakes. By the way, this episode is yeah, sponsored yeah. by David Bowie's Crusty Flakes. It's, okay. They are delicious. And you should know, everyone, warning, it is not a cereal. David yeah. Bowie says he likes to eat them. Do yeah, yeah. not eat them. Okay. It is not a food. Okay. It is not a cereal. David yeah. Bowie's Crusty Flakes. What are I'm they? What David is it? Bowie. I like, what is- I like to eat yeah. David Bowie Crusty Flakes. I like to uh, eat them on Saturdays, and I like right. to yeah. eat them on Sundays. Uh, Why do you move uh, like that when you, when you that's talk? How, that's how, that's how, you really just, should watch the video version of this podcast right now. You guys. Just, that's just my David yeah. Bowie. That's how he moves. That's how he talks. Yeah. You know? Uh, 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 the <laughs> crust of place. Yeah. yeah. That's, oh, my God. I feel like I'm in the room yeah. with David Bowie. And I'm yeah. not even in the uh, room with you. Uh, I know. I know. Uh, so... Um, yeah. What was the what was what are crusty flakes? I, I no one knows, but don't eat them. Do not eat them. Well then why did did we get money for this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. From who? From from date from this estate of David Bowie. Okay. Uh, yeah. How much? How much seven, did we get? Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Okay. Yeah. Seven dollars. Seven dollars to told, they told me not, not to share any of it with you. They said they said you take that seven dollars and you go to Burger King and get yourself a get yourself a whopper with cheese, why, no onions. Why would they want to advertise this thing you are not supposed to have? It's no, you're supposed to have it. You're just not supposed to eat it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh what do you do with it? I what do you do look, with it? I don't have all the answers. I'm not I'm not the yeah. I'm not I'm not the answer man. I can't. I feel answer, like they should have given you better talking points. Then. I can't answer yeah. all your questions, Craig. I want. I want to, but yeah. I signed. I signed an NDA. I mean, honestly, the reason why I, I signed an NDA. Oh, an NDA uh, about the 
the product or about just any question? No, 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 just ask. just the letters. I signed them. They had they sent me the letters. Okay, the NDA, and I signed all three yeah. of those letters. And they say yeah, they yeah. might send some more letters too. Apparently, there's yeah. 23 letters left. Now, when you sign a letter, what does that mean? Then, oh, they, exactly? it's like just like this big. It's printed. It's yeah, on yeah. paper. And it's like a big yeah, letter, and I sign the letter. Sign, yeah, and then what? Does that mean you own that letter or you... no? No, no, no! You're being silly. Uh, I'm trying to have a conversation uh, with you, and you're just joking around. <laughs> all right, yeah. You know, uh-huh. all I'm saying is I signed the NDA, and I can't yeah. talk about it. Oh, there's an M and there's an L that just arrived. Also, all right, I'm going to sign okay. those pretty soon. I just I just got notification. There's an M and an L that just arrived. Okay, why why are you signing letters? Who's sending them? They well, they sent those. I'm supposed to Who sign did? those. Who? The estate of David Bowie. Listen, I, oh, I can't, okay. I can't, I can't, I can't divulge anymore. Hey, Craig, do you know how many yeah. chucks I have? How many chucks? Yeah. Like the shoe? Do you know how many Protect- chucks I have? Chucks? Yeah. Like a just, people you, name chuck? Why don't you just people say- People name chuck? Why don't you just say how many, Greg? None chucks? Ah, oh, I have none. That's right. I have none. Oh! None chucks. I didn't yeah. even know I was getting to a punchline. I was asking yeah. if you had none chucks. Yeah, I had none chuck. I have none. None chucks. Okay. Now I said that All to right. my son uh, the other day, and his response was, "Dad, that's a really bad one." Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, yesterday I was eating sushi with. We were out eating sushi at a restaurant. That's with, such a coincidence. It's a new place. That's such a coincidence. Yeah. I was in the mood for sushi yesterday, so I ate a hot dog. Okay, that's uh, that's tragic. Uh, I know. But yeah, I know. Uh, we went out to uh, there's a new sushi place that's closer to us than our usual go to, and yeah. it was it might have even been better. Oh my god! We, as we were eating it, uh, Ada said, um, and this is something she got from me saying a long time ago, and I'm surprised she remembered. Yeah, she said, "My God, this is so good." I could poop my pants. That's what oh, she said. that's great! Now, did, does yeah. she actually eat raw fish? Uh, no, she has the sweet potato, the vegetable uh, sushi. Yeah, we take Charlie yeah. with us, and he'll eat uh, miso soup with lots of extra uh, tofu. He loves that as long as you mm-hmm. take the green stuff out. You can ask for yep. it with no green stuff, and yeah. uh, and you know the the tempura vegetables, and he'll have you know stuff like that, the chicken karagi stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But does he poop his pants? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Cool. But he cool. just hasn't recently. It's been about five years. Okay, but, great. But he does. Okay, so I guess I do too, and you do as well. Yeah, yeah, we just haven't in a long time. I mean, well, for me, it's for been yourself. weeks. Speak, speak for yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. So yeah. <laughs> here's, what, here's what you have to be careful about with new sushi restaurants, and I've noticed this, yeah. and this isn't even a joke. This is serious Greg Benson talking. Oh, uh, okay, all right. No, great. It's, I'm serious. This I is serious. I hate serious Greg. you hate okay i'm sorry i'll try to get yeah. past the serious part and get back to the jokey hilarious okay. greg benson right. well the serious thing either, is yeah. i have i have noticed when new sushi restaurants open up they're really really good the quality of the sushi is good the cuts of the fish are really really good and then after they've gotten their clientele after they've gotten a lot of people going oh, they got all their five-star yelp reviews and that then yeah. they start to cut corners. They're like, we're spending too much on fish. And the cuts are yeah. smaller and the fish isn't quite as fresh. And you're like, mm-hmm. oh, they've lost it. And that's happened to so many sushi restaurants. That I, is I that tried. unique to sushi restaurants? I think that's all restaurants. Yeah, but I probably. feel like it's especially unique to sushi restaurants because raw fish, that sushi, mm-hmm. that stuff's expensive. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think that's true about most things like YouTube channels, TV shows. Yeah. Whatever. You, you start out fresh. You're like, this is exciting. And like, okay, we got our people. Let's stop trying. Yeah. Because everybody the, wants to get to a place where they don't have to try anymore. I, you know? I, I'm with you. I mean, God, there's this comedy YouTube channel that I used to love watching. And now yeah. all they do is like top 10 Super Bowl commercial videos and stupid yeah, yeah. shit like that. I'm like, sure. what? I'm like, why are you doing that? You know, what's the point yeah, of that? Yeah. And there, there's a YouTube channel I liked watching. Uh, which was like funny, like almost every weekday, and now it's just like stupid health experiments. Oh god! I mean, like, well, I mean, what's the point? You know, what yeah. is the point? Speaking I, of speaking yeah. of having faithful viewers and listeners, I would like to thank yeah. all the human beings who listen to this podcast. And just a reminder: if you're not a human being, you are not welcome here. Please leave us alone. We don't like you. 
We don't want uh, you listening to our podcast. I mean, dogs can listen to our no, podcast. No, no, fuck. If they're dogs, in the room, fuck well, what if they have dogs? Jeez. <laughs> What if they happen to be in the room yeah. while the, the they, person is listening? They need to leave. They need to leave. They are not welcome to hear what we're saying. They are not human beings. Only but human if, beings are welcome to listen to what well, we're saying. Okay, listen. What if right now there are human beings listening and cuddling yeah. with their dog? Yeah. Well, what you, are they supposed you, to do? They're supposed to tell that dog to get the fuck out of the room. <laughs> That's what they're supposed to do. You know? Let, we're not messing <laughs> around here. You I know? mean, what's the what's the harm in having the dog there? Oh, well, you think we're doing this for free, Craig? You think we're doing this for free? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah. You're right. We're yeah. doing this for free. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I feel like since we're doing this for free, yeah. we should be able yeah. to have a say on who listens to our podcast and who doesn't. And I, I feel like we should limit it to human beings. And if you have a dog or a cat yeah. or an emu in the room right now, or maybe you have a lemur, maybe you've got like yeah. seven lemurs yeah. in the room, you get okay, them. That's, if, no, maybe they you don't. Have, they maybe don't. you have a couple of dick dicks. If you have a couple of dick dicks in the room, you get those the hell out of the room. Well, they might have that. That's That seems... <laughs> possible but no, i'm talking about the lemurs? animal dick dick don't i doubt i doubt anyone has even one lemur in the room i've this. got i've got two i've got i've got one in each leg okay no i think you're thinking of femur um, femur yes yeah yeah yeah. yes yeah. you're right you femurs. don't want them to have femurs in the room no no femurs are okay i forgot okay. i forgot i always get those confused but you did think that the lemur was in your leg when you said <laughs> lemurs so <laughs> i did did i yeah. really yeah yeah that's so, weird. That's that doesn't so make sense. Why would you want them to not have femurs in the room? I don't know. But man, uh, and you've changed your mind since then. This is very confusing. It is confusing. <laughs> How about you know people can listen, and who's ever in the room and happens to accidentally hear it, it's fine. I think that's I think that's great. That's a great compromise. Okay. So so I right. so listen. So human beings are welcome, and non-human yeah. beings are also welcome so, to listen so to this a good, podcast. Good compromise. We will just. Undo everything you said. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That's but the a, yeah. only caveat I want to add is that non-human beings are welcome, but only if they support us on Patreon. So if you okay. have a dog or cat in the room, please make sure to give them our Patreon uh, URL, which is yeah. www. Oh boy, here we dot go. Dot p. Oh, this is the a- slowest <laughs> URL. P. Oh, R- wait, wait, wait till I get to actually the, okay. the complete thing. R. Um, Wait, I forget where I left off. Did I say T? Let me go back. Yeah. In fact, I even even forgot the first part. Patreon.com slash TP. Two guys talking about lettuce. Colon. Backslash. Patreon.com slash two guys talking about lettuce. (laughs) Backslash. Yeah. 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 I feel like even though this is, it's a little early in the podcast, this is a perfect segue to get into Mm -hmm. our exclusive Patreon only bonus section. It is. Well, let's not do it. No, no, let's not do it. No, I. Before that, I'll just say that I was just at the Patreon headquarters. What you went to I, Patreon headquarters? I did. What? And I found the room where they keep all of our patrons. Oh uh, my god! And, they put yeah. them in a room. Yeah, yeah. I found them. Wow. Yeah, and I I thanked them all. Wow, that is great. And yeah. they're like, "Please let us out. We yeah. need food and water." Yeah, and I said, sorry, can't help you there, but thank you for your money. And, uh, yeah. So so basically what you're saying is we're not exactly doing this show for free. Well, we are. We are doing it for free. Because I, I, I think if we had zero patrons, we'd still be doing this show. Yeah, but I mean, we did skip a week. So, I mean, obviously, we don't care that much. We skipped a whole week or two of recording. Yeah, but we haven't skipped a week of release yet. That's true. The the one that we're releasing today gets like this is a Saturday, and on yeah. Wednesday it'll be released on Patreon, and then the following Sunday it's out for everybody. So normally we're ahead by several weeks, but spe- right now we are. Uh, we're, yeah, we're right on the cusp. Yeah, we're gonna have to catch up. Uh, maybe next week yeah. we'll record like twenty five to thirty episodes. So yeah, yeah probably. Um, you know, speaking of Patreon, this would be a perfect time to do a natural segue into the Patreon only bonus section. Okay. Uh, yeah, you said that earlier. We're still part. We're still doing that segue right now. Yeah. No, I mean it would be great. It would yeah. be great to segue into that part. It would be. Uh, is it still early? That's a little on the early side, but we could still okay, do it. Okay. Let's not. Let's not segue into it. Okay. Then. All right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Did your ear itch? I see you just scratched your ear a little bit. Did it itch? I there? sure did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It did. Now the scratch that you did. Did that take care of the itch? Yeah. 
speaking of uh you know well, wait, no, don't leave us hanging. Things, you, things don't, going don't, downhill don't after, leave us hanging. after the initial, Craig, the initial Craig, opening. Craig, um, you're leaving us hanging. You've, we've acknowledged that you have scratched your ear. Now you scratch your nose. You yeah, just yeah. scratched your nose. Did that itch yeah. also, or was that just like out of nervousness? Both of them itched, okay. actually. And did, but the, did the scratches I wouldn't you, have even noticed, honestly, yeah. but, did uh, the, but they did. Did the scratching that you that you just did... Did it yeah. solve your itchy problem? It did, but now that we're talking about itches so much, my other the other side of my nose is starting to itch. Really? Right now. Why don't you yeah. scratch it? Yeah. Go ahead and scratch okay. it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's more of a rub than a scratch. I mean, I well, didn't that's... I didn't say rub it. I said scratch it. Well, that's what I did the, with the other side. Okay. You, call, you called that a scratch. I know, but on one side it's a scratch, the other side it's more of a rub. Oh, that's it's really that specific. That you know wow. how they you know how they say that's the rub? That's what they're referring uh, to. Um <laughs> I just love the confused look on your face. Um, um, is it that's the rub or is it there's the rub? What's oh, the quote from from Shakespeare? Is it really? I'm not there, sure. Or maybe there's it's that's the, rub the rub or that's the rub. Excuse me. Sure. Excuse, I, I remember it starts with "Excuse me, where's the rub?" and he and they're like, "Oh, there's the rub." Yeah. You're right. It's oh, there's the yeah, rub. There. There's the rub. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's like, yep. "Excuse I, me, where, where's where, the rub? Where can I, I find there. the rub?" And then Shakespeare said, "Oh, there's the rub." Yeah. Go help says, yourself to some I, rub. I there's the rub. I. Oh, so he's a pirate. That scene with the pirates. Yeah. I, yeah. I there's the rub. I, I. there's the rub. Matey, shiver me timbers. Hey, you know what? Now that we're talking about pirates, this is perfect yeah. segue to to segue into our pirates only Patreon pi, Piratreon section. Yeah, yeah. That's just for our pirates, which starts right now. This portion of two guys talking about lettuce has been edited out for your listening inconvenience. If you wish to hear the complete, unedited version with the bonus talking, be sure to visit patreon.com slash two guys talking about lettuce. And now, back to the edited, not as good version of the podcast. That's the end of the Patreon only bonus section. Hope that you liked it. Welcome back, <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Um, huh? That was good. What's no, going on? What I what I liked is that the Patreon only bonus section is audio only. It's the only part of this podcast that's not available on video for anyone. Um, mm-hmm. It's audio only to just to to give it an intimate feel. But we decided, I should say Craig decided, to show our Patreon listeners some visual things from my phone. Right, right. And uh, and I... I, I, I decided, pr- you're the one who pulled out your phone and was like, here, look at this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, yeah. well, listen, I, what, what am I to dispute your decision? You know, if you want me to show those yeah. things, I'll show them, you know? Okay, but I mean, was that like an unspoken decision yeah, on I my could part? Yeah, I could just tell yeah. that you wanted me to show yeah. some pictures from okay. my phone during the Even Patreon. Even though I'm only. the one who reminded you that it was a Patri- the Patreon-only section and no one was going to see it. That's Yeah, I, but I could tell, yeah. though. I could tell that's just uh, yeah. what you wanted. You know, and I, I okay. like, listen, you're, Craig, I, I'm here for intuitive. you. pretty intuitive. Yeah. I want to give you what you want. That's okay. all. Okay. I, I just want you to be happy. Also in the Patreon only section, we recited things we had to remember in grade school. Mm. Um, like, did you know that I can recite the first two stanzas of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven? And I'm not going to do it. For you. Oh, I, I know because it's that was exclusive for the Patreon peeps, and I recited the prologue to the Canterbury Tales in Middle English, mm-hmm. the entire prologue. I didn't did. stop until it was done. Yeah, have you ever uh, you ever gone to Dave and Buster's, Greg? I have gone to Dave and Buster's. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we could talk about that. Hey, Craig, uh, yeah. what's your yeah. favorite movie? Uh, well. Lately, I have like a top five. Yeah. Or a, a, a roving top five. Let's hear you your top five, your current top five. Well, let's say Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and E.T. We'll get the two Spielbergs out of the way right okay. away. Okay. Uh, and then... Um, 
Nothing else. I got nothing else. Meet Wally Sparks. Meet Wally Sparks is up there for sure. Yeah. I mean, for a while, Taxi Driver was up there. I really like Taxi that's, Driver, but it's, it's a great I movie. S- I say that all the time, but I've, I haven't watched it in decades. So, is it really I, my favorite? It it really is. I I the last yeah. time I watched, and I've seen Taxi Driver probably half a dozen times. The last time I saw it was about five six years ago, and it just yeah. it's still great. It's just such a great movie. It's I right. feel like it's Albert Brooks's best movie. Okay. It's my favorite uh, Albert Brooks movie. I wouldn't call it an Albert Brooks movie. He is in it. Yeah, he's yes. great. Uh, he's, he's great. Got a very, he's, he's very great. small role when I, in it. When I, yeah. think, when I think about that movie, I'm like, oh my God, yeah. Albert Brooks, Sybil Shepard. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's yeah. got a lot of great people in it. It's Peter I mean, Boyle. Sybil Shepard's role is a little more important. Peter than Boyle. Albert it's, it's just, Brooks. it's a classic, uh, classic movie. I, w- you know that Robert De Niro is in it? Did you know that? Um, and it's uh, Martin Scorsese directed it. Um, okay, now th- now those details I didn't remember about it. Okay, yeah, that's the the or Harvey Keitel. You remember him? Uh, mm. uh, Jody Foster. You remember her? Mm. No, I don't know who that no, is. No, I think it was Jody Foster. Maybe her first movie. I don't think I don't know um, who that is. Okay, <laughs> those I those are the crucial people in that movie. Kind of like, like, Albert, like, like movie. Albert Brooks. Kind of like Albert Brooks. You're like, oh yeah, no. Albert Brooks movie. No, no. Although his scene, I do enjoy. It's not very. It's not very. I think it's just one scene, basically. Maybe I, two. I enjoy Martin uh, Scorsese's insane scene when he's in the back of the taxi, yeah. and he's gonna, oh, yeah. he's going to go and, and and shoot his girlfriend. He's a, he's a creepy stalker. Oh yeah, or, yeah. no. He, or is it? Is he stalking? He's no, no. Yeah, no. He, it's it's he he's going to go and kill his wife or girlfriend who's who's having an affair. Uh, and yeah. he's, he's letting the taxi driver know. A uh, taxi driver. Wow, that's a weird coincidence because that's the name huh. of the movie. He's yeah, letting yeah, the, the taxi ta- driver is Robert De Niro. Oh my god! Oh yeah, my god! Yeah. You're right. I've, now I remember and every yes. literally um, probably every scene in the movie. I remember uh, now. Yeah, except yeah. for the Harvey Keitel he, scene. Yeah. He's pretty good. Whatever happened to him? Did he ever do anything else? Uh, yeah, he's uh, Greg. He, w- he was pretty good in that. Greg. Yeah, I liked him. Uh, right. Anyway, no, that, that yeah, apparently, what about the movie? App- apparently the actor who was supposed to do that part that Scorsese did uh, yeah. was already booked, was booked for the movie and then didn't show up. And they and they yeah. were left in, in the day not being able to shoot that scene because there was no actor. And Scorsese just said, I'll do it. And he stepped in at the last moment and he's brilliant in that. And it's so he's disturbing. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I think when I saw it, I was I was quite a bit younger. I didn't know who Scorsese. I didn't know him visually. So I yeah. didn't know that that was him, and yeah. I just thought this is this guy's a total creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He he is it a was, total creep in it. it. It's it's a it's a disturbing, horrible uh, little thing, but it's a it's also great. Yeah. Um, you know, like this podcast. Exactly, We're yeah. a couple little creeps. Yeah, and it's disturbing and horrible and horrible, um, absolutely yeah, horrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't recommend pe- it. Somehow, some people find it compelling. So yeah, I, I need to get on. I need to get on Apple Podcasts or whatever and leave us a very negative review. <laughs> Yeah, you don't I am it. one of fan. the I'm one of the co-hosts. I don't <laughs> care for this one star. You should do that, <laughs> but but then give it five stars. It would just yeah. it would just mess up our mess up our reviews. Yeah, do we it. Such good ratings. What and then another movie I tend to mention is uh, Being There. The oh, Peter I, I love movie. being there with a passion. I've always loved being yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. You, now, don't, you, you don't need to ask or? me my top five movies. It's fine. Like I asked you, but you don't have to ask me. It's fine. I didn't get done with mine yet. I mean, you've named more than five. I've named four, but okay. What's your top five? You know, that's none of your business. That's, that's okay. private. <laughs> All okay. Right. All right. I'll uh, see if I can, I'll see if I can answer. It, it, yeah. It's difficult once I get past the first two, because my first two have been my, my top two for many, many years. And number uh-huh. one is always The Graduate. And number two uh-huh. is It's a Wonderful Life. I just love those movies with a passion. They mean a lot to me. And then after that, it gets really tough. Then because then there's I have about fifty more movies that fit into slots three, four, and five, and a lot of them are comedies. Yeah. That's why it's a roving list for me. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, I mean, I, 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 you know, it's tough because there's so many movies I, I adore, like, and a lot of them are comedies. But I would put When Harry Met Sally up there. I would put uh, yeah. uh, Animal House. I love Animal House. Yeah, it's a, it's I haven't a, seen that in a while, but yeah, a, that's a brilliant movie. Um, uh, and then, and then, I mean, I don't know. I would also put like a movie like The Third Man up there, or North by Northwest. That was gonna. I was gonna interject and say my fifth movie 
is probably currently the third man. God, the third man is that. such a phenomenal yeah. movie. It is it really so is. great. Have you ever seen it's... M? Have you ever seen Fritz Lang's M? I have. Oh my yes. god, I love I love that movie. Uh, yeah, I I could I the uh, Bicycle Thief, the Bicycle Thief. Yep. is a love phenomenal it. I movie. Had to, I had to watch both of those movies in college for yeah. classes. Actually, yeah, but I loved both of them. Those yeah. are those are great movies. Uh, Groundhog Day, I'd put way up there. I mean, th- that's yes. a movie I could watch over and over. Tootsie's a movie yes. I could watch over and over. The original Arthur with uh, with Dudley Moore. I could yeah. watch over and over. I think it's. I think that's one of the funniest scripts ever written. I haven't seen that since I was a little kid, but I liked um, it, and I, I'm sure I didn't get it most of the time, most oh, of it, but I still liked it. the The script is amazingly sharp. It's just so good. Yeah. I don't know. There's yeah. just so, there's just so many movies, but as long as The Graduate and uh, It's a Wonderful Life are way up there, then it's good. And then also, you know, speaking of Jimmy Stewart, like I could name you know ten other Jimmy Stewart movies that I think belong up there. You know, like Vertigo. No, wait, is this Jimmy Stewart and, or James? Stewart. Well, sometimes I like James Stewart and sometimes I like Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. You know, it wait, just it depends on my mood. Wait, what, the different actors? Like you, who you want to watch in a movie? You know, here's the thing. And I know we yeah. I joked about it before. Turns out it's the yeah. same guy. Oh. Turns out that Jimmy is a nickname for James. Oh, really? Yeah. Just like I really Charlie. wish you would have realized that last time we talked yeah, about just this. Li- just like Charlie is a nickname for Charles. You see? Yeah. James, yeah. Charles, uh, Jimmy, yeah. Charlie. See? And, and just like Greg is a nickname for Dwayne. Yes, absolutely. My name is Dwayne yeah. Edward yeah. Scott Benson, and mm-hmm. people call me Greg. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, Greg. Huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> whenever yeah. we talk about movies or, or you know things you actually care about, you get serious. Oh, I know I, because movies yeah. are serious business. Yeah. And telling the truth can be dangerous business. Uh, honesty, it? honesty, and, and yeah. popular don't go hand in hand. If uh, you admit that, tr- that you can play the accordion, no one will hire you in a rock and roll band. But we can sing our hearts out. That's a weird thing to just. Say, oh, I don't know. Well, it's a quote from another yeah. one of my favorite movies, and I'm sure everyone knows uh, what I'm referring to, Ishtar. Yeah, yeah. That's Which another one of my no- favorites. Notorious. One of the, it was notorious at the time for being like the worst movie ever made. People, people said. You know, here's the thing. Yeah. You know, not, people who say it's the worst movie ever made haven't mm-hmm. seen it. Have you ever seen it? I've seen parts of it, and I was kind of into it. What oh, I saw. it's yeah. so funny. the f- The first mm-hmm. act, especially when they're in New York, before they go, when they go to Ishtar, the whole movie falls apart. It's still got funny yeah. stuff in Ishtar, but but then it actually just falls apart. But when they're in New York, it's so funny. It's just yeah. so funny. Does it fall apart because it, they try to get serious or something? No, it? it's just it's just then it gets. I mean, it's a comedy. I th- I feel like it, when comedies get too invested in their own plot. Then it's not yeah. as funny. That's why most comedies, the first act or the or the first two acts out of three, are the really strong ones. But then in the third act, they realize, oh well, we've we've created a plot and we have to tie it up in a neat little package. So then mm-hmm. they're more, you know, in, they're more invested in tying up that plot than they are about you know making jokes and being hilarious. Yeah, most comedies that, are funnier for the first half of the movie. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's make a comedy that's only funny in the second half. Oh my God! Yeah, the yes. Half the movie. Yeah, it'll start yeah. off as a very serious drama. Yeah, and then like, a, like yeah, it'll be very sad. It'll mm-hmm. be mm-hmm. basically basically Schindler's List for the first half. Right? So, so really, what you're describing is the movie Life is Beautiful. If you if you if you want a sad serious comedy, Life yeah. is Beautiful is the movie for you. I feel like that interweaves drama mm. and humor well throughout. I it, want it does. just drama in the beginning and then total screwball comedy at the end. Kim Kim had never seen Life is Beautiful, and I finally made her watch it in the past year because it is a great movie. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, and if you guys watch it, make sure to watch the original uh, the original language with subtitles. Don't watch a dubbed version. So Watch um, the original language without subtitles. Oh, uh, yeah. That's well, that's the that, true that, that really thing. You'll get really invested that way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. uh, and 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 that movie just tore her apart. It is it is a it is a beautiful movie. It's brutal. It yeah. is brutal. Yeah, but funny. But and funny. Good. Uh, and how do how do you make a comedy about the Holocaust? Well, that's that's how they do. They did it. That's how that's how you do it. Did you see Jojo Rabbit? Did you like that? 
You know, I need to give Jojo Rabbit another shot. I don't think I was prepared for it when I started to watch it, and I love Taika Waititi's work. I love all of his yep. stuff. By the way, this TV show that I just shot, I shot mm-hmm. episode two of a new show called Interior Chinatown. Mm-hmm. The pilot was directed by Taika Waititi. He was there on set two days before I got there, uh, and, then, and then his work was done, and another director took over, and everyone was like, oh my God, you should have been here last week. Oh, Taika Waititi was so great to work with. I was like, God yeah. damn it. Oh, you would have man. given him a piece of your mind about Jojo Rabbit, though, right? No, I wouldn't have. I would have just, oh. yeah. <laughs> I would have told him it was my favorite movie. No, I just I liked it. I liked it a lot. Everybody likes it. So that's why I need to see it yeah. again. I'm sure, I'm sure if I watch it again, then I'll love it also. I was not prepared yeah. for Funny Hitler. I just yeah. wasn't prepared. Few are. Few are prepared for that. I, I often, uh, I, I, the way that I like to watch movies is I don't like to know anything about them before I watch them mm-hmm. so that everything yeah. is a surprise. Yeah. And that usually works in my favor. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so uh, <laughs> are you into um, video games, Greg? You know, uh, it's funny you should ask that. Not really. Mm-hmm. Cool. You ever played Animal Crossing? Uh, I have watched my wife play Animal mm-hmm. Crossing on the Ninten- Nintambo Switch, I believe it's called. Yeah. Nam- Nam- yeah, Tambo Nintambo Switch. Namtambo, yeah. She's got a Namtambo Switch, uh, which uh-huh. I got for her as a Christmas present. She really, really wanted it so she could play Animal Crossing. I got it for her. She played Animal Crossing for about three weeks, has not touched it since, and that was two Christmases ago. Yeah. Yeah, I downloaded it to play with Ada, and Ada really likes watching me and telling me to do things. Ah, and, nice. I, I, yeah. Maybe I should start. Maybe I should just start playing the Nam Tambo Switch, just because nobody else is. Yeah, but maybe you're not playing because you you say you say, "Hey, hand me the Nam Tambo," and no one hands you anything because they don't know what you're talking about. Um, because it's it's actually Nintendo. Maybe maybe I should just write on the screen. I should just write in big block letters Nam Tambo. So that people know, people uh, know on what, the screen, yeah, right on, on the, the screen, on the screen, yeah. Of it, yeah. You know the the Nintendo the Namtambo Switch has a screen. You can either. Yeah. I was confused about that. You can either use its screen or you can play it on a bigger TV. Yeah. And I was I was always confused by that. I before I got one, I was like, what? I don't understand what this thing is. I don't understand what it yeah. is. Well, but you're okay with it now. You get it? I, I guess I get it. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you think <laughs> that as people get older and they understand technology less and less, it's like, the, it's like the brain has less capacity to understand new technology, which is why like our parents or grandparents or whatever don't really uh, yeah. understand smartphones and, and the internet and stuff like that. Do you think that there is going to be things, like even, even though you and I are technologically savvy, do you think there yes. will be things when we get older that will just be like, I don't get it? And 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 our yeah. and our kids are going to be like what? It's just it's just your it's your brain cube. You got to you got to activate the glork in your brain cube, and then you just yeah. think it, and it and it and it and it appears. And you're you like, know, what? I don't know, I don't know that it is a natural thing for your, for old people to just not get technology. I think it's just that they don't care, or they're not spending a lot of time with it all day, like yeah. like kids are. Uh I don't so far I feel like I'm very in touch Greg. I'm a I'm just a I'm just a man about town, man, if you will. You seem to have yeah. an invisible touch. Yeah. Yeah, an invisible touch. Yeah. Uh yeah. And how's that go? <laughs> it goes invisible like that. Touch, yeah. He reaches in, in to grabs my right, right, hold it your heart. You apart. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm completely out of touch when it comes to music. Uh, but why is that? What you don't like music? I, no, I listen to a lot of music, but it, it's I don't listen to the the channels that that the kids are listening. Oh, to. you don't need to. Yeah. Those are just for the kids. That's that's what I've okay. discovered. As you get older, yeah. you don't need to listen to the kids' music anymore. Those are no. just for the kids. Right. Yes. You get yeah, as you get older, you get to listen to the music that see, you like, and you don't have to keep up with all that stuff. See, that's why that's. That's what it is. I don't care about yeah. that music, so I yeah. don't know about it. Yeah. But I think older people don't care about a lot of the technology. But the difference between that and music is that they're going to have to know some of it. <laughs> they're going to have to well, learn. Yeah, I mean, especially if you want to yeah. be able to FaceTime with your grandchildren. You're like, I just yeah. wish I could see my grandson's face. Well, you can. You just get a phone and we'll just hold it and we'll talk. 
It's easy. Yeah. I think it's intimidating to suddenly have a bunch of technology thrown at you that you don't understand. So people they're afraid of it and they don't use it. And that's why you don't see that's don't why I don't how. that's why I don't use the brain cube. I don't really understand it. Yeah. And I don't want to have that chip yeah. implanted. And I like, understand. I don't really under, I don't get the brain cube. I don't I Yeah, yeah, that doesn't exist. You made that up. So uh I mean maybe there's no way to tell really. But No, yeah. I mean, I can tell. There's a record of you just making it up on this podcast. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, I, well, I didn't hear yeah. that part. I mean, I, I don't listen to the podcast, yeah. so I didn't right, hear right. that part. Sure. I don't think... Also, I think there has been a time of great technological change in the past three decades yeah. that won't happen as much as we get older. You don't I think, think so? You don't think things are going to keep changing and people are going to be like, oh my God, have you tried the new Teleport 6000? And you're I like, I haven't will, even tried the Teleport 5000. I think things will change, but I don't think it'll be quite as drastic of a change. Like, yeah. Right now, look at the last five, six, seven iPhones. They're basically the same thing. The the the, the past, I don't know, eight laptops, Mac laptops, same thing. I see what you you're know? saying. See, that's, that's, yeah. why I, that's why I just bought myself a laptop off of eBay, and it's from 2020. Yeah. This is from yeah. 2020. And it's it like... It's just like mine. It's like a brand new thing. I and bought it, mine. I bought a, a brand new one this year. It looks the same. Yeah. Well, there you go. So... That's, mm-hmm. I don't. I, I feel like buying a brand new one is a, like kind of a waste of money because because they 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 depreciate so fast. It's like driving a new car off a lot. You drive a new sure. car off a lot, it's just lost thirty percent of its value in five uh, minutes. Um, I don't. That's not really. I think the brand new one, the brand new computer, is something I needed for my my editing because it was slowing down on my documentary I was working on. So I needed it, Greg. I needed right. more storage. What kind? What you get? Did you get? Did you get? Did you get an Apple laptop? Did you get a I Mac. did. I got it. A Mac, uh, M1 Max. Wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. You got an M1. You didn't get an M2. That because that's because the they new don't. Thing. They don't have it on. They didn't have it on the bigger screen. It oh, was only I on the, the, the see, 13 I got, inch. I got, a, I got a tiny little one. See, this is so small. I can yeah. put it in my pocket. Like if I'm wearing yeah. huge clown no. pants. Y- yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, if you're wearing huge cl- clown pants, you can put up almost anything in your pocket. <laughs> I could put that right in my pocket. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Walk around and be like, hey, check out the guy with the huge clown pants. I bet he, I bet he's got yeah. a pretty awesome laptop there. Maybe maybe huge clown pants should be in style because then we could carry so much more stuff. All I know is I'm just glad that 45 minutes into this episode, people finally understand why the episode is called Huge Clown Pants. Yeah, I'm me too. I'm glad I finally understand that that is what it's called. <laughs> as I make uh, a note. As yeah. I make a note of what it's called. I always forget. If I don't make a note, then I'm like, what, what were we going to call that? Something about President yeah. Reagan? I don't, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> but now... I'm also glad we finally got to uh, the subject matter that we've always wanted this podcast to be about, which is tech reviews. Oh, so, yeah. No, we're so good yeah. at tech reviews. And I feel like a, a people yeah. have learned a lot, and now they're ready. Yep. It I actually, I, I got a steal on this laptop. I've been, I've been looking for, uh, I've been checking mm-hmm. out eBay, looking yeah. for, you know, the right laptop. And, and so finally, this company that just buys and sells Mac, you know, Apple laptops had listed this one like, hundreds below what it normally sells for because uh-huh. it's because and they had pictures of it because it had scratches all over it and they said and the screen may also be scratched and i'm like you know what i just need something that i that, it, that will actually hand that i'll be able to stream from i don't care if it's got scratches on it so i bought yeah. it for a greatly reduced price and they sent me one that has no scratches on it it's like I perfect you win I know, and, and, I, and I'm like, is this a company that they just have so many laptops? And, but it had the same specs that I wanted. Yeah. But they ain't a scratch on it. They ain't a scratch huh. on this thing. It ain't scratched. Greg, you know, sometimes life works out. Sometimes you talk about how life always, uh, you know, shits on you, basically. I don't think I talk about yeah. that. Finally, something good has happened in your life. Yeah. You know, you're always like, oh, my life is terrible. You I know? don't think I, that, that's not me. Like, I don't think that I do no, that. I, I feel I like hate, I'm an, I feel like I'm an, me. everyone hates me. I, I feel like uh, I'm an optimist. I'm an, op, they call me optimist prime. Oh, I, I thought, mm, you're right. I I thought I was talking to pessimist prime. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 I By the way, Optimist Prime about. would also be a great name for an episode. So would Pessimist Prime. Pessimist Prime is pretty good too. 
Yeah. Maybe those are our but next two late. episodes. It's too bad. We've already named this episode. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing that's going to prevent us from calling the next episode Optimist Prime. That's why, it, yep, you're an optimist, Greg. I'm mm-hmm. going to I'm gonna make a note of that also, because mm-hmm. I'm sure that we're going to record the next episode. I mean, we're so, here's the deal, Craig. We are yeah. so late in our episodes, we should stop recording this episode and just immediately start recording the ne- next episode. Well... I would like to eat lunch, probably. At some ah, point, not important. But, Why would you okay. eat lunch at eight forty-seven in the morning? Well, it's ten forty-seven right now, and I don't know. You're going to eat mid lunch. Next, You're going to eat lunch no, at no. ten forty-seven in the morning. Next mid next episode, I will probably start to get a little hungry. So. Okay. All right. Well, then you could have a piece of cheese or something. Okay, I'll grab a piece of cheese and I'll have it sitting next to me. <laughs> And I will eat it in the middle of the next episode. Do you want to do two in a row? We've never done two in a row. It would certainly get us ahead of the game. I maybe, yeah. I'm gonna I have to check with my wife, see what what's going on. But I'll right, yeah. say what. Let's let's bring this episode to a close because I have a feeling that you you and I could do two in a row, which would be so exciting because I know you're busy this next week anyway. You're traveling. Yes, yes, which is We're very going exciting. Places. Yeah, you got you got to go and see. Uh, you got to go see that that Oscar the Grouch musical. Yeah, yeah. There's a musical starring, um, um, what's her uh, name? Oscar Rachel the... Braz- Brosnahan. Uh, Charles, and Charles Oscar Brosnan. And, His name is and, Charles Brosnan. Yeah, Charles, and, Charles Brosnan and, and Oscar, uh, the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. There's Which a play I'm... in New York. That's going to be, that's going to be so great. Gonna... That is going to be yeah, yeah. great. Should well, I... Imagine Oscar the Grouch in, a, in his own play. That's great, you know? Working with the remains of Charles Brosnan is so exciting. I, I have yeah, always yeah. wanted to do a project with the remains of Charles Brosnan. Yeah, yeah. They call him Charlie. That's his nickname. Oh, really? Charlie, Charlie? Brosnan. Okay. Uh, Dwayne Brosnan. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, boy. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening to this episode Let of it. Two Guys Talking About Lettuce. We hope that you enjoyed it half lettuce. as much as we did, because then we lettuce. would have enjoyed it have twice enjoyed it double. As, twice yeah. as much lettuce. as yeah. you did. Lettuce. Yes. And we really like enjoying things twice as much as other people. That's true. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. It's it's good to see you, Greg. And it'll be good to see you a long time from now. (laughs) Yeah, as in about a minute and a half from now. Bye, everybody. Bye.